When you need to raise money for your business, there are a few things you need to be aware of. First of all, I think that when you start a business, you should save the money yourself. And there's a separate video where I talk about that specific topic. But if you find out that actually money is the solution, hopefully you do it once you validated your product and you know that there are real customers waiting for your service or product. But if you do need that money, then there are a few things to be aware of. First of all, if you want to raise money from an investor, they most probably will want some shares in your business. Now, when you start a business, it feels like, well, what have I got to lose? I'll just hand out the shares to a point where you might even be a minority shareholder. But then as time goes by, after a few years, when you become successful, you will regret it. Now, the thing is that if you actually are very successful, then even being a minority shareholder is a thing to, to be. That's okay because you will still profit from it. But very often, especially when you don't have business experience and when you start up, you give away too much equity, uh, well, too much shares for the money that you want to raise. So be careful with that. If you want to raise money from sort of more professional institutions like private equity, well, then it's almost like a new business that you need to create in order to approach them because you now have to not only have a robust business plan, but you have to learn, you have to teach yourself how to present your idea, you have to have many meetings in front of people who couldn't care less about you and your future. The only thing that they're looking at is the ROI, which stands for return on investment. So it is a journey in itself. And the problem then is that even if you do get the finance, the, your main job will be reporting back to the people providing the finance. And unfortunately, that is wrong because you don't have enough time to focus on what is the most important thing, which is building your business. The same will refer to uh, venture capital or any financial institutions. An alternative worth considering though, banks because banks provide business loans and quite often they don't ask for as many details as other institutions. Obviously it all depends on the levels of financing and the leverage meaning how much money is being borrowed compared to what are the capabilities of the business because let's say a hundred thousand for a startup might be a lot but for a massive company a hundred thousand might just be a monthly worth of uh, expenses so so it all depends on the size of the business and therefore the leverage but if you exceed of the optimum amount, then the banks will also look at your hands. And like with the private equity, you will have to report back and the banks will might even visit you to see how you operate and so on. And obviously, I'm not saying that is wrong because they want to make sure that the money they handed over to you is working them because the only reason they gave you that money is is to earn more. So uh, if you handed someone your money, you would also whether they are doing what they were do telling you to do with that money. So uh, in my opinion, and watch my other video about raising money, try setting up your business, especially without raising money from external institutions, even from friends and family. Sometimes you might lose a lifelong relationship only because your business didn't work out. So try raising money yourself by basically saving it. And once you feel that you've got a winning business model, that is when you can go out. And also even if you at that stage go to institutions like private equity, then you can negotiate much better terms because instead of handing out 80% of your business, you might only have to hand out let's say 20% for the same amount of money. So be careful when raising money, start on your own and I wish you all the best.